Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making disinfectant wipes. And if you don't know me yet, my name is Jennifer Gilman. I'm a master herbalist and certified aromatherapist. And I just use the doTERRA essential oils strictly for everything I do. Today, we're just gonna take a couple minutes so I can show you my disinfecting wipes that everybody comments on. When they come in my home, these are on my countertop and I just use them over and over again. As a matter of fact, the label is a little bit, it's starting to yellow because I've been doing this for about five years with this container and it costs me cents, just pennies to remake this over and over again. So I encourage you to make some disinfecting wipes and then that way you're staying away from toxic chemicals, but also you're saving money, you really are. So I found this at Walmart originally and I've heard from many other people that they still carry these glass containers. So check out your local Walmart. This is how big it is, okay? Give you all the views. And it's all glass, all right? And you can look for a plastic version if you're worried about young kids uh, toppling it over or breaking or something like that. But this is what I used and then I kind of printed a fancy label from my Avery labels and, you know, but you can put whatever you want on there. The other thing I did as prep work today was I cut the paper towels, okay? So here's my paper towel roll cut in half. I did that ahead of time because I don't want you to see me going, you know, because it takes a little bit. It takes a few minutes. You need a serrated edge knife and you just kind of work through and cut through the paper towel roll and then you end up with two pieces, okay? It's a little bit messy, so you have a little, you know, but that's okay. Now we've got two uses of these paper towels and I like um, the selecticize version so that just smaller pieces come out when I use them but you use whatever you want. After you cut the paper towel roll, you need to take out the cardboard, all right? So that takes a little bit, you know, you have to, here's one that still has the cardboard in there and you just have to separate the sides, work your fingers down there around the edge and then before you know it, you're able to pull the cardboard out from the center, all right? So I already did that with this one. The rest is super easy. So there's two ways you can go here. You can have a disinfecting wipe that has white vinegar in it so that it also cleans, or you can just use water. Either way, you're gonna use water um, for sure and an essential oil. So if you're using the disinfecting that is got the white vinegar, you're gonna do two cups of distilled water and a half a cup of your distilled white vinegar, okay? So two cups of distilled water and a half a cup of distilled white vinegar. And if you're not gonna use the white vinegar, then you could just use two and a half cups of distilled water. Normally, I make it with the white vinegar because I want it to be cleaning my countertops or any surfaces that I clean, and it kills off all those bad, nasty germs, and that's what I typically use. Today, I have a different purpose. I'm gonna actually use just a water and some lemon essential oil. All right, so I'm gonna measure out two and a half cups of distilled water. Let's see how that is. Let's see, oh, a little bit extra. We're gonna put some back. We definitely want just two and a half cups so that it works correctly. So, yep, that's good. So two and a half cups of water and I'm putting it in this container directly, all right? Again, if you're gonna use the vinegar, you do two cups of water and then half a cup of the vinegar. Then, all I'm gonna do is put 20 drops of whatever essential oil I wanna use. Typically, I use On Guard because it is so protective for our immune system, kills all those bad germs on the countertop. But like I said, I have a different purpose for this one, so that's why I'm using lemon essential oil. But this is the On Guard and you could just put 20 drops on there if you'd like. Today, I'm gonna to use the lemon which is also very disinfecting. Um, it's also degreasing, you know, so it's got some really good benefits using the lemon along with smelling really good. So 20 drops of that directly in. That was 21, you know. And then you can just kind of uh, swish that around, mix it up a little bit. Now, what you're gonna do, you've got a rough edge and a smooth edge on your paper towel. The first um, thing you're gonna do is put the smooth edge and put that right in the container, all right? And hold it in there and count to 20. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, about 20 seconds, you're gonna kind of hold that in there while it's absorb absorbing the water, and then we're gonna flip it, all right? So I'd say that's probably about 20 seconds. So we're gonna take that out, and the reason I put um, the smooth end in first is because I actually want the smooth end on the top when it's completed. So now I flip it over and I put it back in and it's actually done. So within a few minutes, every single towel for this paper towel is going to be absorbed by this mixture, all right? And then all you do is you just pull from the center each time you wanna use some paper towels and wipe the surface. You can, you know, especially with kids, you can wipe down everything, you know? You can wipe down um, furniture, top, you know, anything that needs to be wiped down and um, I can use it just, this one I can use because it's water and lemon, I can even use just for my hands as a you know refresher for my face. So many uses of this, but I just love having this ready-made and I just put the lid on it and that's it. So hope, hopefully you'll decide to do this yourself. You're gonna save a ton of money. Have a great day.